If you are going to sell voice agents that book appointments for your clients or just building one for your own self, then every second of this video is going to be important. I know your time is essential and I'll be going straight to the point without any bullshit. At the end of the video, you'll have your Cal.com automation built in for booking appointments without making any workflow. Just like this, your clients will be able to see a calendar and their call logs on your white label portal. You'll also get this workflow already there and you will have to connect your Cal.com account and your LLM in order to make this work and you don't have to build any connections from your own. The first step is going to be going to wappy.ai. Here you will build your own AI voice assistant. You just have to click on create assistant. Ours is going to be an appointment scheduler called as Mary Stento. Click on create agent, 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 agent. Now we have to make some changes in order to make this work. Let's change the model to GPT 4.1. Then let's change the prompt here. Welcome. Thank you for calling Mary Stento. You can change the whole system prompt to your own needs, but the very essential thing we want here is for the assistant to know what the current timestamp is. For that, I have pasted many samples for different time zones, but we are going to test EU time zone for this video. For EU time zone, you have to paste this string in. This is going to be the string which will tell your AI assistant what the current timestamp is. Don't miss this, please. Click on publish. Next thing is that we'll be creating a WAPI tool for accessing the webhook. For creating a WAPI tool, you have to go on tools, click on create a tool and then select function tool. I have created one already. Just don't change the name. Paste the exact thing as you see here in the description. This also you will find in the description of the YouTube video. In the parameters, we have these three parameters. The ones that you create in your account should be exactly the same with capital N, small c, should all be exactly similar. And you can find the names and descriptions in the description of this video. Just copy them and paste. In the third variable, please take care of changing this time zone to your own time zone. Otherwise, this might not work out for you. The rest, all of the things are going to be the same. Once you are done with this, please save. And you see a server server URL here. Don't put anything here as of now. We'll be doing this later in the video. Then we go back to assistants and give this assistant the access of the tool that we just made. And hit on publish. Step one is done. We have the web assistant along with the tool for it to communicate with the webhook. The webhook is something which will trigger the workflow. And for accessing the workflow, we will go on this platform. So this is Voicer AI. It helps you white label your WAPI assistants in order to sell them because you cannot directly sell assistants from WAPI and retail. Once you create an account, you'll be asked for the name of your website. In our case, our client is a dental clinic, but our agency could be only serving dental clinics and could also be serving other businesses. But for now, let's assume our agency just serves dental clinics and it's called as Dental AI. This is our agency, Dental AI. I have found a customer, Mary. Mary is a dentist and I want to build an automation, a voice automation for her. It will ask you for our WAPI keys to build a connection. You just have to click on these links. and also the organization ID. We hit on finish. We have our own platform named as Dental AI and there is a client, Mary, which can access our platform to see her call logs, the appointment booked, and we can manage works workflows for this business. This was the email of our client. Now don't get confused here. These are the old call logs from my account, but yours might be empty. And this client is supposed to see an empty account when they onboard for the first time. 
we go on to the automation lab here you will find a template of the workflow already built so that we don't have to make one from scratch let's give the workflow any name we will use cal.com in our example the first thing you have to do is save and import so that this workflow goes from the templates to our own workflows just go on apps cal we have to connect cal with our account first give this connection a name cal connection then you have to go on cal.com under settings just create an api key here and paste it inside the workflow so that the workflow is able to book appointments on your cal.com which can be in sync with google calendar we also need proc to manage the appointments in case a date is already booked for handling that scenario, we need help from an LLM to suggest alternate times. Brock. Name of the API key for that, you have to go to brockcloud.com, click on API keys, just create any API keys. The reason why I'm not using OpenAI is because Brock can easily handle up to 1000 calls a day, which is more than sufficient for a lot of users. It's paste in the API key. Cal.com is connected, Croc is connected. We go back into the workflow that we just imported. And now we have to connect Cal. 30 minutes meeting is already there. You can change if you want. Save, create booking, again Cal connection. Don't have to change anything apart from the time zone. Just change it to your own time zone. Save. Here also pay some attention. CEST is written. Might be in other places as well, but just replace this with your own time zone, please. And then save. Once we save all of this, two steps are remaining. Click on the end node here. Click on save and generate output. Same for this. And in the end, save. Also don't forget to activate this workflow. Next, we have to go here and copy the link for this work webhook. We go back into WAPI, the function tool that we had just created, and then paste this server URL inside. Click on Save. Now, this is our workflow. This is our Google Calendar. And this is our WAPI account. Let's just test the, appoint the assistant that we just made. Thank you for calling Mary's Dental. How may I help you today? This is Ricky. I would like to book an appointment tomorrow for 4 p.m. for a dental checkup. Give me a moment. Thank you, Ricky. Your dental checkup appointment is booked for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Please arrive 15 to 15 minutes early and bring your insurance card, photo ID, and a list of any medications you're currently taking. Is there anything else? As you can see, the appointment is booked at the correct time. And if I again book it at the same time, our assistant is going to suggest appointment. Thank you for calling Mary's Dental. How may I He's help going you? going to suggest alternative times. Hi, this is Ricky. I would like to book an appointment tomorrow for 4 p.m. for a dental checkup. One moment. Unfortunately, the 4 p.m. slot tomorrow is not available for a dental checkup. However, I can offer you some alternative time on that day. Would you like to to hear the available options? Yes. Thank you for your patience, Vicky. Um, here are a couple of available times for a dental checkup tomorrow. Five. Would either of these times work for you? In the end, Voicer gave you the automation workflow for booking appointments. And your client, Mary, who would be the owner of Mary's Dental, she can log into the account and see each and every call log here and play it and see the success evaluation. Or if you also want to integrate the calendar inside your own platform itself, your own dental AI agency, you can do that inside Voicer. Open up this website, go on to clients, dashboard filter, no, it's custom menu, add menu, 
would be calendar calendar icon go back into the google calendar settings the calendar name here you will see an embed iframe code which we have to paste inside this field this will create an additional menu for our client so that they can also see the calendar inside the portal itself it's going to be all of the things in one place their workflows which either you decide to give them access to or not the call logs dashboard their billing the calendar everything is going to be at one place so thanks for watching the video if you found this helpful please give a like or if you are stuck in a problem please comment down below i'll i'll be very happy to help you thanks